Yurt. Well, here we go, I guess. Another tutorial. Oops, tutorial. Tutorial makes it sound really 2011. Alright, well, getting started on Blot Town. So that should be fun. Did we seriously finish the depths at level 36? Also, uh, I, I'm gonna have to correct that on YouTube in the, in the uh, description section, but I need to make a slight addendum to, uh, or yeah, I'm gonna need to make an addendum to the, <laughs> ah, crap, I'm blanking out again. Those slimes are not very good for grinding, and I want to get that, set the record straight on YouTube before somebody gets the wrong impression and actually does that on YouTube. They take forever to grind. The better enemy to... The better enemy to grind for materials is another enemy coming up in the lower half of Blight Town. Now, Blight Town is an area you do not want to sit in for very long. It is very pro. It's just it's got a lot of problems and it's really annoying and I hate it, as do many players. Anyway, I don't think I introduced you to this guy. Yep, here he is, Doom Hall of Zena. I love him. They never brought a character like him back in later games. Let's buy a couple of those. Ah crap, forgot to buy the bottomless box. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually. If you see kindling in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repair the reassembling skeletons. Yeah, he's a very smart lad. He gives practical advice and is very kind and supportive. ASMR loving and supportive Doom Hall of Xena gives you practical advice. Thank you. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. We sure will. He shows up back in Firelink later. In a really interesting location, actually. Now, let's begin. Let me check my stats here real quick. Oh, we're actually doing really good on stats right now. Like, the vitality and endurance are looking really good. It's just strength and dex, really, that we need to start leveling. Get to like 30 of each and we'll be freaking golden. 30, 35 or so. One sec. If you feel like you're underleveled for this area, by the way, it may help you to just stay in um, to stay in the depths a bit and help other players out with the gaping dragon. These guys do toxic buildup. 
So toxic is like poison, but worse because it damages you faster. So just be very careful of that. Dude's coming after us. This place used to be a lot worse because this area in particular used to get like abysmal frame drops every time. This area has gone from unbearable to un insufferable, which is slightly better. Careful, there's another dart shooter up there. Definitely don't want to deal with him. Just plow through that crowd. That's why I recommended the Claymore to most new players, because it just plows through crowds with its wide sweeps. It's just a good weapon. Um, that thing, that slug on the wall, I wouldn't recommend fighting without, like, pyromantes or a bow or something like that. I shouldn't I should have fucking held my tongue. Just use a purple moss clump if you're ever uh running low. I should also have my uh blooming purple equipped just in case. Just in case I get toxined. You can drop down to that item down there, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's really easy to miss that drop. See, look at that. I almost got hit with the dart right away. Is there a guy up above doing that too? I think there's a guy up above shooting down at me. Yeah, well he fell off. You can tell because I got a purple moss clump from that. Um, if you can, try to take a route where you drop down instead of um, taking a ladder because it makes you less vulnerable. But be sure to drop down on a plank, because you'll take fall damage if you slide down. Now, right around this point, you want to take off your Havel's ring for the Rusted Iron Ring. Make sure, make extra, extra careful sure you do not take off your ring of favor and protection, your fap. If you take your fap off, it will shatter and you'll never be able to use it again.
So put on your rusted iron ring. You're gonna be poisoned, don't worry about it. It'll just happen. There is a lot to do in this area, because it's pretty big. Let's kindle this real quick. Crap. Voice crack, sounds like tea time. Mm. Ah, I let it go cold. Damn it. some humanity and her butcher's knife as well as some Estus restoration for killing an invader they increase the dark set the darkness saturation in this area the contrast which is kind of irritating is that makes uh, certain objects hidden around corners and in dark areas really or like hidden in corners or shadowy quote-unquote areas really fucking hard to spot Poison Mist. We'll be using that later. I should actually put I sink a couple points in my attunement just to be sure I'll use it. Large soul of a proud knight. So these um these slugs right here. These are the guys you want to actually be farming for your Titanite. These guys drop green Titanite and large Titanite shards, so no matter what, if, whether you're using an elemental weapon or a plane weapon, these guys will have you covered. See? Um... They'll usually, they drop large titanite more often, and they'll drop quite a bit, they'll drop like one most of the time, but if they drop green titanite, they'll drop it in great abundance, like four or five at a time, for elemental weapons. Ooh, jeez. I almost let them kill me. And I'd recommend staying here and grinding these guys as often as you want, as often as you can, really, because the run up and back down here is long, so you want to be sure you have as much as you need before you move on. There's another one. Here's a server, which is a curved greatsword for those of you who would rather use dex weapons. Make a right here. Uh, we will not be heading up that tree, so that branch up there actually leads to another area, but it's a very late game area and we will not be heading there until way later. Like, not until we have a specific item in our inventory that will make that trip a way easier. So, we're gonna go upgrade up a bit. See how much I can do with that. I need three more. I'll probably do that in my spare time, though. 
as well as okay so something you can do um let me see let me look at what i have oh i have green titanite i'll show you what you can do with that later it'll be very helpful now we're gonna head over to the boss Another one. Nice. So, this is an NPC summon. This is Maneater Mildred, the dark spirit that you killed. And you can summon her if you want to, I will not. We're just gonna do this solo. I might die here, just because I'm not sure how strong my weapon is, but I'm pretty confident. Careful. If you see the spider stop moving for a moment, if you see her torso drop down, you want to get as far away from her as possible. Also, standing directly in front of her is the best choice if she starts swinging her sword. She can't hit you if you're hugging the spider. Watch out for that one. That one you'll want to get far away. At. You can also hug the side too. By no means is she an easy boss, so I don't expect you to do it on your first try. Very careful because if you don't block that, that move can kill you in one hit. The only reason I blocked it was because I was up against a wall, but your more preferable option is just to uh, just back away. But it's important to remember to block if you see that happen. Like, you see that? I saw that coming and I reacted by blocking, because that's better than just getting killed by it. And that's that. Another boss soul. We're just going to crush that since we're not going to be using it for anything. Ooh, look at all this stuff we have. We're going to be consuming this on our way to the next Bell of Awakening. Ooh. 
Ooh, I accidentally used one there. Bell of Awakening. And we get a homeward bone in case we want to go back. But <clears throat> we will not be doing that just yet. So you want you want to come around here and go down these stairs, because there is an easy boss down here with like free souls basically. <clears throat> so right here is an illusory wall. You want to go through here. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Just say yes. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Um, so, there's some stuff you can do with these guys, both of them, both, uh, ANG and, uh, the Fair Lady. You can join her covenant and you give her humanity for stuff, but we're gonna actually gonna be using an exploit to do one of her covenant, uh, to do one of her covenant rewards, so don't worry about it. Anyways, um, we're going to repair our equipment. You want to rest at this bonfire, by the way. I know it seems like a long walk back up, but you want to rest here because um, it will come in a lot more handy later. I want to get sink a couple points in attunement. I want to have a single attunement slot for later. in here and you can light this bonfire but don't rest at it but yeah that last bonfire near the chaos witch you want to rest at that bonfire because if you don't uh, it'll take longer getting back down here in the future and you'll have to come back here later so this next boss fight hang on let me get across this bridge So, for this next boss fight, it will actually help if you're ass naked. You want to be capable of light rolling.
Hey, pal. Hope you're doing all right. He looks so sad. Anyways, you want to come over here? And steal this shit. But then don't immediately start running. Wait a second. He throws a bunch of lava up, right? And that's when you want to start running. Because that lava can one-shot you, even in full armor. Now what you want to do is you want to start running all the way back. Just fucking run. He's gonna chase you over here, but see, there's a pit down below. He's walking through the lava, but he's out of lava to walk through. See? So he's gonna jump over. And that's when you mercilessly end his life, the poor bastard. <clears throat> Send him falling into the abyss, you cruel, cruel monster. All he wanted to do was protect his sister's corpse. Unfortunately for him, though, the fact that the reason he's called Ceaseless Discharge is because lava wouldn't stop coming off of his body, and you have to kill him to get the lava to stop running. How tragic. And look, more stuff. More souls. Now, we are going to run back up to the Great Swamp. I still have my rusted ring on, yep. Okay. I need to grind for a few more large shards. Don't hit any of those guys, by the way. They're not worth the trouble of fighting them. It'll just cause you problems. Yeah, the commute time around here can be pretty long. Forgive me for a moment, but I'm gonna have to grind some more uh, slugs. <clears throat> I just want to be sure I'm well stocked before I go back up to the next challenge. Because it can be a real doozy if you're not careful. Here we are. 
level up my dexterity. And... Yeah, strength again. Getting two points for every return, so that's pretty. That's still pretty good. Two points of AR for every level up. does that leave us with? Two? Two out of three. Okay. Very good. I'm actually hoping for some green titanite so we can level up our armor. Uh, the armor, armor only upgrades with normal titanite, but you can break green titanite down into normal titanite shards. And it breaks into a down into abundant amount, especially if you're not using green titanite to make elemental weapons. There's another one. Nice. Not nothing here. Triple kill. Alright, good enough. <clears throat> oh, we'll kill these guys too. We got something. Nice. That's what I was hoping for. Do I have Twinkling Titanite as well? Oh, I think I used it all up on the shield already, which is what I was meant to do anyways. So we're, we're still doing good. Climb this scummy, disgusting water wheel. Just gotta be patient. I've died on that water wheel more times than I can count just from like getting off too soon or like stepping off at the wrong angle. Anyways, we're gonna have to make one more detour before we leave this pit of an area. Probably gonna get toxins here. There's not a whole lot you can really do about it. Yep. Just be sure to chug plenty of Estus. Uh, save your um, blooming purples for later.
wait for this guy. Sometimes he'll do something stupid like drop off the cliff. Just try to get a better angle on you. Seems like that's not what he wants to do right now though. We have a bow, I think. Yeah, we have a long bow. And we have some feathered arrows. We're also going to switch back to our Havel's ring while he's distracted. And he gave us a free blooming purple. Sweet. Unequip that. Oops. Ow. God, these hellhounds, they can be a real pain sometimes. Firekeeper soul, that's what we were here to that's what we were here to get. I'm just gonna go past these guys. I don't really care to square up with them right now. earlier like while we were in depth uh, while we were in blight town uh, and that'll bring us back to new Londo ruins which in turn will bring us back to firelink I said Brack back to firelink
reinforce the Estus flask with her real quick. <clears throat> is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. So, the stench that he is referring to, the new problem, is this fella. Seeker Frank, close friend of the great Lord Wind, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Wind. So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Okay, now, you can feed him pieces of Titanite. Like large titanite, green titanite, and it will break down into smaller renditions. Like right now, we're gonna feed him some green titanite, the elemental, the basic elemental titanite. It shatters and becomes normal titanite. It becomes titanite shards. Like if I fed him chunks, it would become large shards. If I fed him the slab, it would become chunks. So on and so forth. That's kind of how it works. Yep, there we go. Now we can also feed him basic items, like uh, these cracked red eye orbs. I don't, we're not really going to use them since we're going to do this whole playthrough offline. Get rid of them. Turn humanities go for 2,000. Feed him this copper coin. Where are they? Feed him dung pies for 200 each. Feed him your duplicate items if you want. Like your duplicate Black Knight sword. We don't have any duplicate items. Wow, that's impressive. go through all this. Very good. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe, as always. If you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Oh, I think we already got the pyromancy flame from him. And then you can upgrade your pyromancy flame here by just going to modify equipment. Be safe, man. Don't you dare go on. Repair equipment as per usual. Repair the claymore. And we're gonna reinforce our armor. See, look at all those titanite shards we have. So for these, it's one, two, three, because these go up to plus ten, which is the we um, they also adopted the same system for weapons in 
Dark Souls 2 and 3. There's a large type knight on that. Perfect. Oop, we should actually level up real quick as well. Um. Uh, crap, what was it? Uh, oh, let's level up Dex. The 308. separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Love texture looks really nice. I know it's like something like really small to just kind of like talk about, but wow, that's a really nice glove. He's not going to chase me. to give to Andre is the question. <coughs> nope. Next area. Which can be very, very difficult <coughs> if you're unprepared. careful because there's those pressure plate traps If I had more Twinkling Titanite, I'd probably actually switch to the Black Knight Sword at this point, just so I can get through enemies faster, but I think it's more convenient to use the Claymore anyways, because it shows, like, even with a, we a weapon with... Because the Claymore is better for its moveset as opposed to its damage. It does acceptable damage, but its moveset is its real, like, big selling point. You don't have to parry these guys, but having your parrying game on point never hurts. They have a bit of poise, so it's easiest to parry them in my opinion. Careful here.
some more large titanite. We can use that on our armor. Yep. Careful there. So the thing about medium rolling, like a medium weight character like this, is you really want to balance out between your rolling and your blocking. If you want to roll here, that item you won't need because that's a dex weapon. We'll talk to him in a moment once all these enemies are dead, but you, they'll, they can actually damage him. Friendly guy, I like him. This, this ring right here, the Ring of Steel Protection, is a very, very good ring to have if you meet the weight and body requirements of your, uh, of your armor and weapons for a medium or light roll, and just want to have the extra physical defense, because that thing, like, cranks the shit out of your physical defense. Like, let me check real quick. But I can also take these off, finally. It'll go from 205 to 255, yeah. It just really improves it, makes it really, really good. Careful, is the darts that come out come from behind here. Be careful when you hear that creaking, that means that the lever got turned. The balls change position. Now what you want to do before moving on here is you actually want to wait here. Wait for the balls to keep rolling down. Still waiting. <laughs> Alright, one more. You want those balls to be able to stack up. They roll by and smash down this wall and you get 
the gold serpent ring, which increases the drop chance of rare items from enemy corpses. Don't fall for this. You see that chain? You see how the chain's facing forward instead of coiled back? down here but you see there's a blood stain here because if you don't get off right away it'll go back up and it'll crush you dead gotta remember to get off there oh here's the ball trap aim it there because then they'll go nowhere there and they'll be of no bother to you anymore this one can be a bit tricky if you're not careful I definitely recommend though to newer players, if you get the Black Knight Sword drop somehow, use that instead of the Claymore. I'm just using the Claymore to show um, a lower dam how you can do it with a lower damage weapon like a Claymore. But I definitely think the Black Knight Sword is a superior greatsword to this one. Careful because there's pressure plates there. Just walk along the side here. Oh, and now we've made it to the top of the fortress. We're not out of the woods yet. So, pick up, pick up this item. I'm gonna actually look down at the side here and drop down. Because here's the bonfire to the upper fortress. I'm just, I'm not going to kindle this one, I'm just going to stick with my uh, seven flasks for now, because that'll be more than enough. pretty slow and doesn't tend to very hit very accurately so just keep moving and you'll be fine you won't get hit there an ignite night if you're really desperate for large titanite and you don't have it at this point you can farm him, but it takes forever. But like I said, if you're really desperate for a large Titanite, you can grind him for it. You know I had to do it to him. Ripperinos, my friend. Prince Ricard. Never stood a chance.
Now, we're actually going to do something a bit different. Um, there's a particular character that you want to help out just because he's a nice guy and you should, out of the kindness of your heart. But you're going to go over here and you're going to make that jump. I don't expect everyone to make it on their first try. It's really difficult as a medium -man character. You may want to take your clothes off. Uh, this guy right here, uh, the, for the Bear Knight Knight, is a merchant. You can talk to him and he'll sell you stuff. He sells some pretty decent gear. He sells the Bear Knight armor set if you want to do that. It looks really cool. It's a good armor set. Cage key. Now, we're actually going to set on fire. We're going to go back down and risk the bonfire. We're going to upgrade. We're going to repair and upgrade our armor a bit. Yeah, coming right along. Ooh, you see that? We leveled up and we got three points, uh, three AR points to our damage that time with strength. So, now, we're actually going to go back down here. back here again. We're going to aim it that direction now. And after we, you only need to launch one down there. And then turn it right back around. We want to run down here. And here he is. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. 
I will return to Farling Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Oh, you know what? I just realized there's a better way to do that. You can create a hole in the wall earlier with the crank thing, and then you can jump down the hole where the guy's dropping the boulders. And that's just as smart, because then... Because then he'll stop dropping boulders and start doing melee attacks instead. We're just gonna power through. Yep, yeah, the crank turns itself. It's really frustrating. But we didn't lose that much health because we're wearing a good set of armor. Always stay prepared, kids. That's the moral of the story. Um, so at the bottom there, by the way, if, you, if you're on the first floor and you decide to drop down, uh, there is actually something at the bottom besides a bottomless pit to die in. Uh, there's Titanite demons that you can fight for, uh, or yeah, for Demon Titanite, for if you want to have a boss weapon. We're not going to use a boss weapon, but it's there in case you want it. We're gonna go back up and rest here once again, just to uh, top off on health. On health. Balder over here, you can fight. Nope. Not having any of it. Why there's a lone Balder out here, I have no idea. So, over here. Uh, you can also unlock this with the cage key. It's an elevator back down to the first area, so if you want to go back to the Undead Parish for any particular reason, just get in there. We're not going to go back, so we're fine. We're just going to keep pressing forward. Another balder here. Actually gonna cross this bridge here real quick. And summon the champ, John Cena. It's a community joke. His name is Black Iron Tarkus, but and he can basically solo this next boss, like by himself. He's amazing. How powerful he is, but Yeah, so you summon the champ, and then you actually come up here. Make sure he's following you. Yep. He's a fat roller, so just watch out. Ow. I've actually never seen that, that kick.
get a chunk out of that, which is very valuable for later. And I think that leaves us with four chunks right now. Yeah, we're making really good progress with that. Now, boss fight time. First thing he's gonna do, send out that move. It does magic damage, but luckily we have high magic defense. Look at how much damage Tarkus does compared to me. Obscene. He takes no damage from the Iron Golem. So, the Iron Golem will start teetering if you hit his legs enough. You want to keep going on him. And you'll knock him over. And then you get a free win. Um, if you do it right, I've seen a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of speedrun streamers do it. Uh, they'll knock him over like right over here, and he'll fall right into the uh, and it'll just fall right off. Now, examine this ring of light here. And, as was ordained, you go to Anor Orlando, the magic city of sunshine. Ah, so nice. So beautiful. Hmm. There's a sun. There's not a sun. Hmm. Wonder what's up with that. How odd. If you go to Vadi Vidya's channel, you'll maybe learn the lore. You want to draw these guys one at a time. Be very careful because you really don't want to be fighting both of them. Just stay near their legs and you'll be fine. Their armor is really cool. This is why eventually you want to get more endurance because the enemies will just gradually start hitting harder and harder. You want more endurance so your stamina can keep up with their hits. Giant's halberd. I 
and we're coming up on it now. But here is our destination. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Grin's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. I don't think we can note yet we're at a large titanite. We're gonna level up again. The point in dex. We're gonna do one point in both endurance and vitality just to get a little bit stronger in both. Do a quick repair job. And that is all for now. Thank you everyone for once again tuning in, and I will see you all with the next stretch of our journey. Bye bye.